you know, most of my life, all I ever cared about was anything that was dark and creepy and metal music. But you know what? Recently, I have felt the need for something a little bit more different. Because today we're doing <laughs> Dreamcatcher. We are returning to Dreamcatcher. They have something out. It's a special clip. You know how much we love special clips on this channel. This I'm going to guess it's either Demian or Demian, depending on if it's going to be going for a, a root word of demon or de like demo. So I don't know. But you can never say no to Dreamcatcher. So let's check it out. I'm excited. Okay, so it sounds like this down the Damien route. Um, very cool. Okay. Give me a second here. I need to process what I just heard. There's a lot going on here. Ooh, okay. So what do I say about this song? <laughs> There's a lot going on with this. This is kind of like genty. This is kind of like math rock. Man, it almost sounds like uh, Muse or like Dance Gavin Dance almost pretty crazy stuff in all honesty but i really like it now there's a couple spots that first off makes me think this and we're gonna start right here Ooh, this to me is very esque The 
There's so much depth. If you got headphones on, I'd recommend listening to this with headphones. It's a nightmare. That like half step down right there is so nice. What an interesting per percussion there. It's like almost a mix of a, it's like a wooden bell. <laughs> Yeah, that's really math rock. Um, that's kind of crazy to hear that in such a opposite genre, in a sense. I know that they're generally... And I know that there's a lot of genre bending in K-pop, but math rock was not one that I was expecting to hear. <laughs> it's like math rock muse. It's it's pretty strange, but it's so in-depth. <laughs> You have like the guitars, you have some synth, you have a really crazy bass, and the drummers put it in some work in one of their cells. This breakdown is crazy. I really like that right there because there it's almost like it has a small offset so that's what creates that dissonance and just really a unique but very subtle thing to have done there and obviously I think that uh, with the vocals themselves the way that they have it paired up uh, really interesting I think because you give uh, Dami obviously the rap section the percussion breakdown which or not the breakdown, but like the percussion part where it's just like her and the percussion is much. And there's a little bit of the chugga chugga on the guitar to help emphasize that dramaticism of the deeper voice. And then having the chorus and like the part that, you know, carries the melody with the higher vocals that have, that carry the melody with it. It's a well thought out song for sure. This is uh, one that I think you could go through multiple times and get multiple different things out of it that you might not have heard the previous listen. So, I don't know. <laughs> As always, um, I think that Dreamcatcher just always brings the heat. Um, and I'm always happy to have him on the channel. I've kind of been wanting to come back to a few of these groups a little bit more recently and enjoy some of the uh, more of the founders. And uh, this definitely did not disappoint. I, I love Dreamcatcher. They're still probably one of my favorites you know s tier group <laughs> so anyway let's discuss this on down in the comments and we'll uh we'll see you for the next one Bye bye